All right. Well, I saw my deer over beside the tree, the old apple tree that I was working on earlier in the year, in the summertime. And I made a video, it's up here on uh, YouTube. So I took some of the stuff from here that I put out and I moved it over there. I'll pick up a few more pieces while I'm at it and bring them over too. Seeing as how that's where she was. Um, she ran away. I got really close to her though. I ended up being just a few feet from her. Here, we'll leave that there. Okay, I got some bits and pieces here of carrots and apples. I already brought some of this stuff over. But I figure she'd be more likely to find it over here. Plus, it's not so close to my camp. So, um, she may be less afraid to approach. If it's over here, she'll be less afraid. And my goal here isn't so much to lure her in as it is just to feed her help her out a bit and give her a little treat you know and so she probably doesn't get carrots very often apples she'll get more of of course but still if I can um, pick up some apples for if I can get some apples off the higher branches of trees and get them down for her where she can get them where they're still fresh that'll be a nice treat for her it was actually right there. You can actually see where she made a path through there. Anyway, we'll put this stuff down too. I don't think she's touched it yet, but it's here. And um, yeah, she likes to wander in this field and graze and hang out a bit. So I'll, I'll leave that with her. Leave that there for her. And uh, as you can see, it's quite a beautiful night, really. And the mosquitoes aren't too bad either right now. The mosquitoes and the black flies aren't too bad at all. It's an awful nice view. <laughs> Look at that tree, eh? It's amazing. It's really amazing. Yeah, I love that. I really do love that. Let's head back this way. Anyway, we'll go back this way here. Oh, I'm getting my emergency propane supply in place for the winter time so that if I run out and I'm not able to get into town right away, uh, I'll be able to, uh, you know, because I'm on foot, hey, pushing a wheelbarrow. So depending on what the winter weather is like, I'll be able to um, just... Uh, I'll be able to uh, draw on the supply here. Um, so let's see where we're at here. Here's some here. Got one there going right now. And good. all of that there. Those are all filled up with propane now. Oh, and there's more there. Yeah. Anyway, turn that off. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's have a look and see. I don't know if there's any more or not. Yep, there's one more to go. Okay. One more, and then they're all done. And that also means that I once again have access to my little shed that I made. Um, let me get in here. This started out as an enclosure for Rocky where he'd be safe outside, but he didn't like it. Yet that's why the chicken wire is there. I made this all out of deadfall for, that I got from the woods. And it's for the most part, it's all pegged together with, with wooden dowels that I made from deadfall as well. And uh, there's the door, actually. The door I have to fix yet. I do. Uh, stuck. Bugger. Bugger. Hey, it's stuck it is. There we go. I still have to fix the door. I do. <laughs> and this is the door, which is all pegged together. 
but that has to be fixed anyway. The door would just swing out on pegs. It'd just swing out, but I have to fix it because one of the pegs busted and the door came apart. You can see there's a peg there. It was the bottom peg that actually broke, I guess. I have to clear all this away and then I can uh, reinstall the door. That'll be a job for me sometime in the next week. Oh, here we go. All right, and now, I say, there we go. Okay, now. Hold on a minute here. This one's got oil all over it for some reason. I don't know why. I turned it the wrong way, I did. Hmm. Okay, now. Yeah. There we go now. Okay, now. Put it on the drug scale here. Put it on the old cocaine scale. See what it comes out to. That's acceptable. I prefer it if it's 15 or 16. But, uh... If it's one one five or one six something, but this is all right. It's acceptable. All right, then now. Now we gotta do one more. One more. These cubes of ice are good. These blocks of ice. Um, I found that at Roman's Gas in town, I can get these. So that's a good thing. Here we go. Now we'll put the next one on here. Getting on pretty easily. Okay, now let's say just wait a minute here. Just gotta get it all on here. All right, and we go up to 750. As the tank, as the tank gets less full, you've got to um, set your timer to more because there's less pressure, so your timer has to go up more. You have to spend longer at it. <coughs> Once this one is done, what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to make some corkscrew pasta and I took some mushroom soup and a canned mushroom soup and added water to it and I've cubed up a bunch of chicken into it. And I'm going to make myself some nice pasta for supper with the chicken and the mushroom soup and the corkscrew pasta. So yeah, anyway, yeah, once that's done We'll be golden. All right. Talk to y'all later.